Hello family, welcome back to the channel. This is Anthony here and I'm here to share with you a embellishment box that I have put together. Uh, I have made this embellishment box for a swap. Um, I am in a group on Facebook where we do monthly swaps and we, we are doing a spring embellishment box swap. So this is the one that I have made for my partner. So I wanted to use some, you know, nice little spring colors. So this one is lavender and purple with some mint green. And this is what the cover looks like. I've covered my box with this really pretty spring scrapbook paper. I've added some bling here. This is part of a necklace and I actually received this in a embellishment box last year. So um, it was a broken necklace and I have used it on here. I've uh, used two different trims on the box as well as in the back here I use some gold uh, bling wrap I think this is the one from uh, Dollar Tree so I have some mint green trim as well as some white trim I've continued this scrapbook paper all the way around the sides and then right in here I've added some white and mint green trim so also on the top I have put a butterfly it's a purple butterfly with like some some gold on it I think I got these from Michaels and then I have uh, a variety of flowers on here there's some paper flowers I also have like some acrylic and resin flowers these little like flower buds here I received those in some happy mail so I got some mint green ones there there's also some purple ones there's some yellow ones there if you can see them sticking out there this flower here this is a flower from Michaels I do believe and it has the bling in the center I've added this um, flat back pearl here on this flower I've used a word bead that says dream I've also put a little tiny ladybug there on top of a little paper rosette that was actually in another embellishment box that I received so that is what it looks like on the outside so when you open it up it looks like this lots of bright colors I added some just some uh, gift tissue floral pattern very springy on top and then when you open it up it's filled with goodies I didn't include the, the paper shreds this time so I just put the tissue on top so this is the inside here I just put a little um, journaling card that says for me and um, the group that I was in in the year here I put her name with uh, little beads it says Sheila I've added a butterfly I've layered a couple flowers there here is just a um, it's actually it says spring hello spring and it's fussy cut from a journaling card and this actually can be removed and can be used as well as this flower here I added that there but they can be removed and uh, reused so I'll start with 
what I have included. So in this little container here, I've included a bunch of little uh, mini envelopes that I made. And then I've just put a little um, dimensional uh, sticker on the back. And these could be used pretty much on any project. So let me get those back in there. Okay. Right here just laying on the little lip area here. There's a space right in front of this uh, compartment here that I have just included some layered like fabric scraps. I've made these using ribbon, fabric, lace, and a button and just stitched them together. And these could be used um, in journals or on cards. It's just a already made embellishment ready to go. You just plop it onto something. Here's another one with some uh, burlap and ribbon and lace. So I just like grab like four, about four little pieces of scrap and added a button to it and just hand stitched. Uh, stitched them together really quick and easy to make so I just made a bunch of these up and I have them in a jar so I can add them to my journaling pages or to envelopes or whatever so I wanted to share some of those so I put those in there I also put a assortment of butterfly stickers in there for her to use. There's a couple of bird stickers in here. I thought these were just screaming spring so I included them and then I put in a piece of the gold um, the gold bling wrap. Okay in this next little compartment here I've just added a bunch of paper clips different colored paper clips and then these like flat back bling pieces flowers and butterflies and then in this one I put in some uh, buttons and these are the pastel colored um, little flower buttons from the Dollar Tree. So just put a bunch of those in there. This next compartment here, I've shared some cross beads that I received in uh, Blessing Mail. So I put a few in there. to share with my partner. Okay, this next compartment here are some homemade, handmade uh, paper clips that I have made. So I use the butterflies that you can purchase at Dollar Tree. This one is on a clothespin. And then I've used some barrettes, and these are little flowers. This one has uh, the bling flowers on both sides. And then here's one that I made with a er eraser. So I've got those in there for her. Then in this speck, compartment here. There's a variety of beads as well. There's some little flowers, some little uh, butterflies, and there the butterflies are in pastel colors. So just a bunch of different beads there. 
Then in the next compartment, I did put in some bead trims. There's some glue hanging there. But there's a gold strand. There's like an off-white. And then the mint green. So those are in this compartment. And then in the last compartment, I put a bunch of flowers. So a few of them I glittered up with some stickles. I've added some brads in the centers. And these are just paper flowers that I have decorated up. Here is some more that I've layered up with three flowers and added a brad center. Same with this one. This one is two of the larger flowers. And then that's a single flower with the brad in the center. And then I added some of my homemade uh, chipboard pieces. And so what I did here is, and these two are made out of the paper from the front, but I have made little embellishments and turned them into chipboard by punching out I punched out four pieces three to four on it just depends on the paper but I punched out three to four pieces of uh, cardstock just plain white cardstock and then I did a punch from the decorative scrapbook paper so I just layered them all together and let them dry I glued them let them dry and they get really hard so it's just like chipboard embellishments that you would buy out of the store so these could be used on a card or whatever you you know you want to embellish you just add to it so that is the embellishment box that I put together for my partner so thank you all for stopping by. Please give this video a thumbs up. And if you have not subscribed, please do so. So that you could be a part of my little YouTube family here. And hit the bell to be notified when I upload a new video. So until the next one, everyone, stay blessed. Bye-bye.